Welcome to my plan form once again. Making delicious homemade spring rolls is easier than you think. With a few simple ingredients and some basic kitchen tools, you can make your own spring rolls in no time. In this article, we will walk you through the steps to make your own tasty spring rolls from scratch. We will also discuss what ingredients to use, how to assemble them, and how to cook them so that they are crispy and delicious. So let's get started. Ingredients For the pork and marinade 8 ounces finely shredded pork loin 225 grams 1 quarter teaspoon salt Half teaspoon sesame oil 1 teaspoon Shaoxing wine Half teaspoon cornstarch 1 quarter teaspoon white pepper To assemble the filling 2 tablespoons oil 1 clove garlic, minced 10 dried shiitake mushrooms, soaked until softened and thinly sliced 2 medium carrots, julienne, about 1 cup 1 cup bamboo shoots, julienne, fresh is preferred, but canned is fine too. 1 small napa cabbage, julienne, about 6 cups. 1 tablespoon Shaoxing wine. 2 tablespoons light soy sauce. 1 teaspoon sesame oil. Half teaspoon salt, or to taste. White pepper, to taste. 1 quarter teaspoon sugar. 2 tablespoons cornstarch, dissolved in 2 tablespoons cold water. For wrapping, 1 package spring roll wrappers 8 inches squares, this recipe makes about 20 spring rolls 1 tablespoon cornstarch, dissolved in 1 tablespoon boiling water for sealing the spring rolls Canola oil, or peanut or vegetable oil, for frying For the dipping sauce 2 teaspoons sugar 2 teaspoons hot water 1 teaspoon Worcestershire sauce 1 tablespoon soy sauce if you are enjoying this video please press the like button subscribe or follow me for more video, make sure you drop your comments in the comments section so that I can hear your opinion. To ensure the vegetables and pork blend together perfectly, combine the pork with the marinade first and let it sit for 30 minutes. Afterward, cut all of the vegetables into even pieces so they have an equal cooking time. Brown the pork over high heat in 2 tablespoons of oil, and add the garlic, mushrooms and carrots. Stir fry for 30 seconds, and add the bamboo shoots, napa cabbage, and Shaoxing wine. Continue stir frying for a minute. Adjust the heat to simmer the mixture, as the napa cabbage will release a lot of moisture. Stir in the soy sauce, sesame oil, salt, white pepper, and sugar. At this time, you have the option of adding 1 quarter cup of the decanted water from soaking the dried mushrooms. It strengthens the mushroom flavor, so this is purely according to your personal preference. You may also have to simmer the filling longer to reduce the additional liquid. Continue simmering the filling for another 3 minutes until the napa cabbage is completely wilted and stir in the cornstarch slurry to thicken. How much slurry you add depends upon the wetness of the filling, this varies if your cabbage had more moisture or if you did add the optional mushroom water, but there should be no standing liquid at all. Transfer the filling to a large shallow bowl, and let cool. Place into the refrigerator to cool further, at least 1 hour. It's best to start with a cold filling for easier wrapping. The key to wrapping spring rolls is making sure that they're tight, yet not overstuffed. It's best to use fresh spring roll wrappers if you can, as freezing the wrappers can result in the spring roll skin being a bit too damp. Place the wrapper on a flat surface so that a corner is facing toward you. Use about two spoonfuls of the mixture per spring roll, and spoon it about two inches from the corner that is closest to you. Roll it over once, and, like you're making a burrito, fold over both sides. Continue rolling it into a cigar shape. With your fingers, brush a bit of the cornstarch water onto the corner of the wrapper that is farthest from you to seal it. In case you're wondering, we did try egg wash instead of the cornstarch mixture to seal the spring roll but the egg wash stains the spring roll, so it's best to use the cornstarch mixture. Place each roll on a tray. This recipe makes about 18 to 20 spring rolls. You can also freeze these spring rolls on the tray overnight, and transfer them to a Ziploc bag when they are completely frozen for future use. We usually fry some fresh and freeze the rest, unless we are hosting a party, in which case, these go like hot cakes. To fry the spring rolls, fill a small pot, which requires less oil, with oil until it's 2 to 3 inches deep. Heat the oil slowly over medium heat until it reaches 325 degrees. Gently add the spring rolls one at a time, frying in small batches. Carefully roll them in the oil so they cook evenly until golden brown and transfer them to a plate lined with paper towels. Prepare the dipping sauce by adding all ingredients to a small saucepan. Mix and heat until just simmering and pour into a small bowl. 
Serve the spring rolls hot with the dipping sauce. Tips and notes. Makes 18 to 20 spring rolls. Nutrition info is for one spring roll with dipping sauce. Nutrition facts. Calories, 155 kilocalories, 8%, carbohydrates, 19 grams, 6%, protein, 6 grams, 12%, fat, 6 grams, 9%, saturated fat, 1 gram, 5%, cholesterol, 10 milligrams, 3%, sodium, 425 milligrams, 18%, potassium, 174 milligrams, 5%, fiber, 1 gram, 4%, sugar, 1 gram, 1%, vitamin A, 1215 IU, 24%, vitamin C, 7.3 mg, 9%, calcium, 35 mg, 4%, iron, 1.1 mg, 6%. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.